Hello everyone, we are back with another Call of Duty Black Ops game. Uh, this one I recorded in the theater because I actually forgot to start the uh, hop hog. But that's okay, it's the first time I used it. Um, I don't really like the theater because it's really laggy sometimes. Some of the kills you're going to see. That's okay. That's what I got, but uh, this game is very, very strange game. As you can see, it starts out. It starts us out, I don't know if somebody leaves in the loading screen or whatever, but it's a three on five. Which is fantastic. Um, and it only gets worse from there. Right now I'm using the uh, Commando with Silencer, Steady Aim, Pro. Good stuff. I get shot by four people there. It's lovely. And uh, yeah, for pretty much a lot of this game is just three on five, but um, about half the game, at least the later half of the game, is a one on five. Like, yeah, one on five. I'm the only one left. Everybody else on my team leaves. And the point of this video is that uh, the matchmaking in this game, if, you, if you've played this game even for just like an hour or so, you know that the matchmaking in this game is really not very good. And I'm not sure what the deal is. Like, it ranges from like just all-out glitches where, like, if you have a party of like five, six people and you try to join a game, it'll let half the team or your party in and the other half will get kicked out. It's a big bunch of random crap. Not really sure what the deal is, but um, as you can see in mid game, it, it goes Halo style. As soon as you know somebody leaves, there's no, it'll almost never put anybody back. And it's bad because this isn't like you know free for all. This is team deathmatch, so one team is going to be without you know players, which is what happens to me towards the end, and even the other team at the very very end. As you'll see, this is probably, hands down, one of the weirdest uh, Call of Duty games I've ever played, simply because uh, by the end of the game it's a one-on-two. I actually end up winning my team, being me. So yeah. This uh, theater mode is really laggy and kind of annoying. I'm really not fond of uh, using that. And even this, uh, since there's a host migration towards the end, I had to... Uh, I should load up two different files that it saved, so that was that was kind of weird. But um, the combination I'm using right now, uh, weapon-wise, like how I have a silenced uh, rifle, uh, ninja, so at least some of my footstep is covered up, even though that doesn't have too much of, a, of an impact in this game. As well as uh, claymores as an equipment really allow me to stand out towards the end. Not sure how I killed that guy. It actually looked just like, just as weird. This guy's terrible. Yeah. It's pretty laggy. It's theater mode. I really, really don't like it. But it's okay. And so it's just been three of us the entire game. Somehow actually keeping up with their team. I think we're ahead. Can't tell. The preview screen. It's okay, uh, this is a pretty good place for Claymore right there. A lot of people hug that, uh, that uh, train and try to get on top of it and stuff. Even right here as well. It's a good spot to be. Do some defensive rushing right here. I actually get long shotted in like one hit. My uh, G11, I think it is. That's okay. But, um, yeah, this is a pretty slow game, but uh, when it becomes a one-on-five, I'm actually able to hold my own well enough until I get a chopper gunner. It's really weird. I don't get many kills because, well, the entire team leaves, except for two people. But it's just bizarre. This, this matchmaking in this game is just all over the place. I'm not really sure what they were going for. Or if it's just glitched or if they're patching it. Look at this. I take out a claymore and three guys come around the corner. It's just typical. Yeah, basically, uh, a lot of this game is trying to flank them. Which I do do a little bit for a little bit of success. Because they're kind of huddled up in a group. Yeah, basically, this team's only skill was uh, numbers. You can see right now, everybody on my team is now left. Except for me. I don't notice this for a while. I'm like, oh shit, this, is, this sucks. I was very tempted to rage quit, and then I somehow killed this guy. I was like, whatever, I'll stick it out. So I get a spy plane. And this is 
everything kind of goes right from here on out. I get the spy plane, I can see where they are. I guess they're confused because they think I'm going to leave and just give them the easy win, but that's not how it works. Pick up a secondary, but never use it. So I'm just going to hold my own on this, uh, this side of the map over here. I see this guy wrapping around. And I actually am able to put this counter spy plane up, which uh, I guess just stuns them or something. I don't know, they, they never rush. It's always one or two guys at a time, like right here. I see this guy coming. Pick it up. Easy kill. They fire the rocket off, apparently, or maybe it does it on its own, I can't remember. I got my Claymore out there, they have no idea where I am except for that guy, but... They never really... A, a large amount of them never really come out looking for me. Wow, that was laggy. Looks, looks weird. But this is how the rest of the game goes. I actually can see a guy when I was in that last that side building. I could see him shooting me off from a distance. I came back over here. Uh, he moved up, and I was able to catch him off guard. Stuff. I see that guy. He follows me around. Claymore takes me out. Takes him out. And I'm not sure how that RCXD didn't kill me because I was running away from that. But somehow, another laggy ass kill. I actually get my chopper gunner. I called in this guy. Appears out of nowhere. It's all right, and. Um, Right here is where the host migration was, and it actually, for some reason, split it up into two clips, so I had to edit that. As you can see, it's all the same people. See, right now there's three of them, and then another guy. Another guy leaves, actually, yeah. So now it's a one-on-two in a team deathmatch, where it's supposed to be six-on-six. Six. For the rest of this game, there's, I think, three or four minutes left. Two or three minutes left, I'm not sure. Uh, it never gets anybody back into the room. Um, I'm not, I guess that's a good thing, though, for people who are just trying to get into a game. They don't want to go into a game like this, but it, this is bizarre. Bizarre, first of all, that I was able, actually able to get a chopper gun around one on a one on five. Bizarre that the other team decided to leave, even though it was an easy win and they had hosts. And that uh, I was actually able to get a chopper gun. As you can see, it looks real great. Now, uh... There's two of them somewhere, and there's only a few minutes left. I see the guy there, briefing, and I try to wrap around, uh, trying to pick him up, but I still don't want to run out in the open. But I actually never do find him. And the rest of this match is me running around looking for them, and I'm pretty sure they're doing the same for me. Uh, I'm trying to sound whore the best I can, even though it's, it's difficult in this game. You can't really hear people until they're right on top of you. But, uh... Still worth a shot. I, in vain, I'm looking around this area, believing that they're going to try to come back for it. And since it's so easy for me to defend, I try to get out the same strategy, but um, it doesn't work out so well because they never show up. They must all be at the the launch site because it seems to be where they were heading. Seems kind of funny to me that two guys would try to camp out, thinking that they were going to catch one guy. It's like wow. How much more crap could you be? But uh, yeah, they're they're camping around thinking that they're gonna find me. Running around. Actually never we never find each other at all, as I have said. It's pretty boring. And the time starts running out. I notice that I'm actually winning. My team is winning, me. I'm not really sure how I guess it was those chopper gun and kills and them basically not trying whatsoever. And, uh, I pretty much assume they're over there because I see that claymore. And they call an RCXD, and I can hear it just shoot off right, like instantly. So I know they must be around here somewhere. And I'm just looking around, looking for his his stupid little man who's standing still, looking at a metal radio. I can't find him. Maybe he was right in the middle of there, and I'm just walking past him, but I can never see him. I'm not very good at seeing people in this game. It blows up. Yeah. But this is basically the end of the game, and it's how it finishes. But there's a lot of irony in all this, and how it's how this game is supposed to be make, trying to make fair teams and uh, keep it balanced, but I don't know what happened in this game. I, I completely broke it or something. Nah, I probably should have just quit, but either way, it was an easy win. And, uh,. 
Some more crap for you guys to watch. More bad games and me getting bad scores. I actually come around the corner and I see him. I fail. And uh, then the game ends, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hope Treyarch fixes these spawns, because they suck. Yeah, that's it.